Hello everyone and, and welcome, welcome to our, our channel Rose and Rag. So Rose, what is today's topic? Yeah, today's topic is kind of controversial, yes. which is about the whole Zomato case which is going on between uh, Kamraj, the delivery guy, yeah. and uh, Hitesha, yeah, Hitesha uh, yeah. I think from Bangalore. Yeah. So yeah. let's dive straight into the topic because I know everyone knows what's happening. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. we have seen like both sides of the stories, yeah. like individual videos and stuff. Yeah. So first disclaimer, we are not taking any sides, guys. We just want to give you a picture of what's happened in India. And, and what we actually think. Yeah, of course. And how this whole concept would be completely different in the West where yes. you've got a concept called dignity of labor Absolutely. and we'll dive straight into it as well. Absolutely. So, yeah. so when I actually saw the video like from the girl's side, yeah. I felt really bad because you know her nose was punched. Yeah. Well, She's I don't know whether it's punched or not but at yeah. least it's bleeding and stuff. Yeah. And after I've seen, after watching this guy's video, yeah. uh, the first thing which came to my mind is like, first of all, we don't understand the concept of dignity of labor. Yes. That is the main problem. Absolutely. And absolutely. the second thing is because we are in this viral age, everything is viral. I yeah. mean, she gained about like 30k to 40k Instagram followers. Can you actually believe it? Wow. Overnight. <laughs> Never used to be the same case before. Yeah. But now everything is viral. Yeah. We'll, we'll judge you and we will not judge you. We'll take yeah. your side. Yeah. So this is the way, this is where yeah. we're actually. So the first thing it. we need to do is take the gender out of the question right, from this particular case because we don't want to be sympathetic towards one gender or the other. Yeah. And uh, diving straight in the, into the topic of dignity of labor. In the West, the way we see it is uh, whether it's somebody who's a garbage collector or somebody who's this big CEO of a multi-billionaire company, yeah. everyone is treated with respect. Yeah, yes. That is a hard and fast rule, whether it's the UK, US, Canada, Australia, wherever you Well, go. let me ask you, what happens if they disrespect? Let's say if I am disrespecting some guy who is actually cleaning uh, probably the office or something. Yeah. What happens then? You will go behind bars, guys, without any question. There will be a union that represents and do you that think, guy. Do you think they will make me pay like hefty Yeah, huge, lumpsum. huge lakhs and sometimes even crores of rupees if you are converting into yes. pounds to rupees. That person will be made to pay crores of rupees and pounds. It, so, so it doesn't matter then? It, it doesn't matter. Like right. I said, you know, dignity of labor is the same. Every Everybody deserves to be treated with respect, in respect of their financial condition, in respect of their gender, in respect of their physical condition, etc, etc. And that's how it works. Especially with the designation. The yes. Because it is very common these days, especially what we see everywhere is like we disrespect the people who are actually working in this sector, so especially delivery guys as yeah. well as, you know, in, in, in India, especially in India and the other Asian countries as well. I think yeah, in most of the Asian, Asian countries, countries. I mean, for some really reason, I, I think within India, because there is this class divide, uh, certain people, again, I'm not saying not the whole problem, certain people have this notion that they are in superior, their mind, yeah, yeah. that they are superior to somebody who's, you know, say people like these delivery guys who are on a lower pay, pay scale, etc, etc. I think the first thing we need to remember is that we are all in the same class, guys. We are all human Absolutely. beings. Absolutely. I mean, if you think if you have balls, as in, you know, if you think if you are superior to someone, if you have balls, go question your local MLA or at least your local corporator. You, yeah. I'm sure you will not have those that's those guts. <laughs> but yeah, as you mentioned, like these things are in our head. Like. Yeah, yeah. And somewhere I think this has also been a trigger point in this case, I feel, because clearly there is a vast class divide. You know, if there's somebody who's at home, even I feel very privileged where I can sit at home and order something online and there is some poor delivery guy yeah. who's obviously traveling during COVID, traveling with all these different weather conditions, road conditions, etc. In food. Bangalore, Bangalore, we know the traffic conditions. It takes ages to go from one corner to the other, yes. and this comes from the real Bangalore people as well. So Absolutely. there's no doubt there. Yes. Uh, but what needs to be remembered is the fact that you know everybody is working hard, guys. Whether it's it's uh, you know this lady in question with her makeup profession and modeling profession, or this delivery guy in question with the whatever you know with this kind of laborious work that he's doing. But what we need to remember is that everyone needs to be treated with respect, and even if the lady was angry. This is how I personally see it. Even if she was angry, she should not have refused to make the payment or, you know, threaten the guy straight away that I'm going to file a complaint. You need to wait and all of that. All that drama is not Ridiculous. needed. When somebody comes, they've made their service. Yeah, it could be an hour late or two hours late. When you've opted for a cash on delivery service, just pay the cash. Let the guy go. Log into your account if you're really unhappy. Log into the account, go to the customer service section. That is why they are there, so many employees, Absolutely. and file your complaint. It's as simple as that. There's no need to get personal, no need to make any remarks. And like I said, we don't know what the person has been through. There's Absolutely. so much traffic. Absolutely. And strange thing is that the main thing is how many times have we given you know way for the ambulance? Yes, I'm sure none of us mostly. Yeah, if especially in 
our countries in our countries because you know chalta let's let's see it's yeah, okay yeah. you know they'll find another way yeah but I in mean, the west i know everybody knows it everybody moves to one side guys ambulance is given so I'll, much priority I'll, I'll, especially indians yeah Indians behave really well when they come abroad. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Because of the hefty fines, yeah, because the of the laws, because of the cameras. I'm including myself as well. Yeah. So don't think I'm from. This is not country. a sense of disrespect to any Indians, any guys. Time. We are just trying to show the contrast of behaviors of certain people in India yes. or in Asian countries in such scenarios. Yes. If if a delivery, the, there's been so many times that our food delivery has been late by. Do you remember, like hours, it's been yeah. like in one instance, yeah. we got the delivery late by three hours. Three hours. We were starving. we were starving and i was like completely out and my brain was completely messed up yeah. but when the guy came i just took the parcel and he said i'm sorry this is what happened and i was like oh, okay no worries no worries and i just closed the topic and then we pursued this uh, we just delivery left a comment service, yeah. to yeah the service advisor saying that this delivery was late so they gave us a voucher some sort of complimentary voucher yeah. and the case was ended there there's nothing Uh, we didn't have anything against the delivery driver well, he was on while on his way there was some protest going on or something he was stuck in traffic remember he they, didn't they, do deliver he remember didn't do delivery they are delivery. actually helping you yes just because you paid some 20 rupees extra it doesn't mean you can you actually own them exactly. that is a wrong way of thinking exactly yeah? exactly absolutely so you know what would have happened if we behaved something like this yeah like you have landed you know in fight with this guy or probably i've landed in fight with this guy what would have happened like in uk in uk guys we would be behind bars yeah. <laughs> that would exactly happen because and we would get fined with a hefty fine hefty as fines. already described because as we said the dignity of labor concept is very very significant in countries like these and that is why i think that is one of the concepts we should definitely adapt in Absolutely. countries like india because yeah. it's high time that people who belong to say a different class who are doing all these laborious works also get that sort of security or that safety blanket as we call it Absolutely. Uh, we are not condemning every indian i know there are so many people that i personally yeah. know and i've grown up in colonies where all the aunties and uncles and everyone so friendly with the sweepers and the maids and everyone yeah. but there are some sections of people who think they are superior to Absolutely. you know uh, the uh, the other class of yeah. people and they try to show off in very different ways i'm sure we've seen this yeah. even in our own friends group yeah, sometimes yeah, 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 we've yeah. seen people who oh, i work in this position or this and that and it happens you know what i mean some people actually in some of my circle as in not my immediate friend circle yeah. but i've seen in colleagues and stuff yeah. uh when i was working back in india they used to tell like okay i treat this guys like this i mean i have this much class and then i'm like what the fuck um, you know i'm sorry but this is absolutely a disgusting behavior you shouldn't yeah. be proud of such behavior yeah. the least and you can do is when you get the delivery late by let's say 10 minutes or probably 1 hour or maybe about 24 hours the least you can do is ask the person whether is he or she is okay or not yeah. because they could, they might have landed in something else you yeah. know they could have had an accident, accident. had some sort of personal Tragedy problem or we don't whatever. know what, what people go through so many things right and one thing to remember guys we are all going through this pandemic if we learn even one thing during this thing yeah. is the value of life Be how many kind. people haven't really lived today how many people have lost their lives in this last one year is it really worth venting out your anger in such a horrific way to somebody who's not making uh, the money that you're making that's why you're sitting in the comfort of your home Absolutely. you know and if somebody is actually traveling in the midst of the covid virus and everything getting your food to you the least you can do is just pay what you owe the person it's not about free food let's not get into that that no, is like really that is ridiculous you know? like why do you want everything for free yeah you so just pay the person what you owe the person if you're unhappy with the service just yes. tell the person you know i'm unhappy that you came this late but it's okay i'm going to pay you because this is what i owe you pay the person close your door finish your food then if you're still unhappy you can go and file your complaint with the I've customer service I've seen this, this is what the person should have yeah, done i've seen this me. similar set of you know behavior especially in airports yeah because they think i'm i'm flying in the business airplane class, business yeah. not even business class forget it <laughs> i'm sure people who fly in business class they are quite okay yeah. especially people we should take inspiration like from people like sudha murthy yeah. narayan murthy narayan murthy ji come on oh these people God. are billionaires have you seen how they talk to people of the lowest class of people like the sweepers and the maids and all the helpers so much love so much humility guys when these people who obviously we can never reach their stage we can Never achieve what they've achieved, and they're doing so much for our country in yeah, so many ways. Absolutely, and they have got so much patience and control over their anger. 
I think we should learn from oh them. Oh my God, we should. I mean, the least we can do is we cannot give our wealth like yeah. what they are doing to the yeah. country. Absolutely. The least we can do is just be kind at yeah. least to the people who are actually providing service to you. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. be rude to the people who are actually like your your politicians yeah who are you know in yeah, the wrong corrupt MLAs etc etc et yeah. who are actually looting your money in your particular you need to channelize your anger towards them yeah. Yeah. not them because you know that these people won't get back to you they're not going to channelize their anger the same way that is why i think many people try and get away with such behaviors and another and thing is completely be condemned i loved how you opened this whole blog because you said it doesn't matter it doesn't matter with the gender yeah because you know things activities like this yeah. uh, you know will have a huge effect on the genuine cases like yes, where absolutely. women are going through different challenges absolutely and men are going through different challenges absolutely. so it shouldn't be the case and guys at the end of the day come on we're all from india and we sh we need to make sure that our country is portrayed in the best possible yes. way and such uh, marginalized people of certain sections you know who just try and show off that they're yeah, superior yeah, yeah, yeah. to certain other people we shouldn't let them represent the entire country right yes so my I think coming to the end of this vlog what yes. I would suggest is let's lead with kindness guys at the end of the day we're all in different uh, sort of uh, stages of our lives we've all Absolutely. seen different things the least we can do is just be kind to the other people certain people are born in a privileged home great for you but you could have been born in the other section of the side of the people as well Absolutely. we don't know why we are born this way or the other people are born the other way we don't know that the least we can do is connect ourselves with that humanity just be kind to each other if you're angry channelize it the right way don't show it on somebody who's defenseless who you know will not do anything against Absolutely. you don't channelize it that way do it in the right way we've all got legal ways of doing it go to the customer service desk you know channelize your anger there or your whatever I think, message uh, we also should and adapt one thing like if you spot someone like this behaving in front of you be yeah. it in your malls be it in restaurants take the charge yeah. it's okay take yeah. the charge tell them they're doing wrong yeah and be I'm very polite about it yeah. you don't have to go and you know chati and all that don't you don't have to do that be very kind just say that this is not the right way to behave brother this is brother or sister this is not the right way to behave we know you're angry just take a minute cool down take a deep breath it's okay Absolutely. Life is simple. We are going through a pandemic. Let's be kind to each other, right? Let's. So on that note, guys, <laughs> we've come to the end of our vlog. So be kind and uh, thanks a lot for watching our vlog, yeah. guys. And we also have a uh, lot of informative vlogs as yeah. well as uh, travel, travel vlogs, vlogs as well. Yeah, so lots of adventure if, vlogs. Yeah, if you're a first time viewer, please don't forget to check out those videos as well, yeah. and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Yeah. And we'll see you with another informative or travel vlog in our yeah. next video. Thanks stay kind, lot. stay happy. Bye.